in the patterns of biodiversity we will be discussing about the legacy of glaciation so the glaciation is the process of making glaciers in the past 2 million years there was a uh, an environmental or and climatic change in which there was formation of uh, glaciers and as we know that tropics are much more hot as compared to the northern and southern areas uh, of the globe what will happen that glaciers will be more towards the poles uh, and uh, towards the temperate areas and this will result in much more extinction rates in those areas and that due to the legacy of that extinction we have less uh, biodiversity in the areas of higher latitudes even today so the faster rate of speciation in the tropics that and that resulted into the increased biodiversity and less extinction rates and due to the environmental changes the greater extinction rates in the higher latitudes is the instability of the climatic conditions over the past 2 million years as i have said that the climate changed glaciers were there and due to the presence of glaciers the plants couldn't grow the uh, and the organisms who which depended on the uh, plants they couldn't uh, survive and that resulted into the extinction and the legacy of extinction uh, that extinction for the past 2 million years is that we have less biodiversity away from the tropics so the earth's climate is constantly changing Constit uh, it is considerably colder over the past 2 million years than it was the case for the previous 300 million years a higher amplitude of variation between the warm and cold condition during that time happened and due to that high amplitude of uh, warm and cold variations the extinction event were a common place so during the cold episode the higher latitude have been disrupted by the development of glaciers over the land surface and biogeographical patterns and animals were uh, most rarely disrupted and when they were disrupted they went extinct and when they went extinct they didn't have any offspring which can populate those areas today so the idea of a climatically stable tropical belt uh is there that the uh, it is climatically stable though summer is prolonged year round there is not much change in the temperature uh even during the winters the winters are not so much harsh on the tropics and it could account for some of the diversity still found on the tropics as the plants and animal could be a relic accumulation of the species from a former age so there was not much of a change uh, on the tropics and if it was that there was not much of effect of it and due to this reason there is less and less uh, extinction and due to that less extinction the plants and animal that we can find on the tropics today these are the ancient relics that means these are the descendants of very ancient animals and plants which survived extinction due to the stable climate so uh, the equatorial forest had to endure less disturbance than their temperate counterparts so equatorial means the forest which are present on the equator uh, the tropical rain forest for example and the temperate counterparts the temperate forest they were not so much lucky so they Uh, the tropic equatorial forests maintain themselves in a for, uh, forested form during the period of stress and their species composition and architecture structure however changed but they remain in the forested uh, position so the equatorial forest uh, uh, the, there is hypothesis by the colin wu uh, a scientist that uninterrupted forest hypothesis of colin wu it is reasonable to conclude therefore that many factor contribute to the species richness of the tropical region and lower richness of the higher latitude so there are many other factors which are involved but there is the most credible uh, hypothesis which is uh, for the tropical stable belts that is uh, accepted in, even today is the uninterrupted forest hypothesis of the colin wood 